The purpose of this activity is to support you to open up your career ideas and to develop your understanding of the detail of each of these ideas. So start first by mapping the different areas of work that you're considering. And I'd encourage you to do this as broadly as possible. So what areas of work have you come aware have you become aware of recently? What have you thought about in the past but have never really explored? What do friends and family do that you've become curious about? What have you noticed on social media? Really try not to limit yourself in this. Be as creative as you can. Really think about how many different areas you can consider, you can think about anything that has just come into your mind. Um, and 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 really really blow that open as much as, as much as you can and then within each of these areas I'd like you to consider what are the employers who are recruiting in these spaces so you might want to split this up into corporate employers charity sector university space for example and think about what problems being solved by these employers what sort of an organisation are they? What kind of culture exists? What sort of employees do they, do they tend to have working for them? And then within each of these organisations, I'd like you to consider what positions do they recruit for? Who do they employ? For what roles? And map as many different roles as you might be interested in as possible. And then for each of these roles, I would like you to consider who's being employed for these different positions. What's the level of diversity? What qualifications do they hold? What transferable skills do they hold? What's valued within this space? What sort of a community exists here within these different positions? What has been people's career trajectory to get into this particular role? What does this look like on a day-to-day -day basis? What sorts of outputs are expected for people within these positions? What happens at different periods, at different times of the year, at different times of the month? Where do people within these roles hang out? Are there conferences that they attend? Are there networking groups? Are there spaces that people go? Are there magazines that people read? How can you understand and find out about these different communities? And so doing this allows you to do two things. It allows you to think about the different options that you're contemplating critically because you've got the information to be able to be much more informed. And the second thing it, it helps you to do is it helps you to cut through to develop a career management strategy in order to be able to move from A to B. Now, there are other things that can be really helpful for this process, other activities that can be helpful, other, other tools. So a SWOT analysis can be really useful, for example, in order to consider where are you currently and where is it that you would like to get to and what does that look like and what are the opportunities and threats and so on around that. So, yeah, I would encourage you to, as I say, be as, be as wide as possible in the different things that you're considering and be as detailed as possible with regards to answering some of these questions that I've, that I've posed in this video to really collect as much data as you can about what this is, what this looks like, map as, as widely as you can. 
If you're not part of one of our programs, I would encourage you, you'll not have a community around you to do this together with. Um, I'd encourage you to talk to people about what it is that you're considering. Ask people what they understand about these different areas. Ask people for their time, if they can give an inter information interview, for example, if they're occupying one of these positions. Ask questions about the company and what's valued and what where people tend to come from and what happens on a day-to-day -day basis. So these, this is all really, really important to developing this understanding. And of course, there are different spaces you can go as well, different online spaces, different books you can read and so on that can develop your understanding and awareness around different sectors.